Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this video, we will create a sliced head manipulation in a Fendi photo. Before you begin the tutorial, make sure you download the image in the description. Go to File, Open, and select the image you downloaded. Once the image opens, you can unlock the picture by clicking on the lock icon in the Layers panel. Go to the Tools panel and select the Selection Brush tool. With the brush active, select the man's head. If you need to increase the size of the brush, use the right bracket key. Use the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush. Once you select the head, go to the Context toolbar and select Refine. When the Refine selection box appears, set the output to New Layer with Mask, then hit Apply. In the Layers panel, label the Pixel Layer Head. Now, drag a guide down from the ruler section. Place it between the mouth and the chin. To pull the ruler down, place your cursor by the ruler and drag it. The cursor will turn into an up and down arrow as you drag it down. Once you drag the first guide down, drag more guides down and place them where you see them in the video. You should have a total of five guides on the head. In the layers panel, select the head layer. Click on the adjustment icon and add a black and white adjustment. Then, drag the adjustment inside of the head layer. Go to the Tools panel. Grab the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle over the entire document. In the Color panel, double click on the white fill color and give the rectangle the following color, 9A, 9A, 9A. Select the rectangle and go to the toolbar. Click on Move to Back to place the rectangle at the bottom of the list. In the Layers panel, select both the rectangle and the head layer. Hold Control to select them both. With both layers selected, right click on them and select Merge Visible. Label the new layer as Head 2, then uncheck the original head layer. Next, go to the Tools panel. Select the Freehand Selection tool. With the Freehand Selection tool active, go to the Context toolbar. Set the type to Polygonal. In the Layers panel, make sure the Head 2 layer is selected. Take the freehand selection tool and select the chin. Go to the context toolbar and select refine. When the refine selection box appears, set the output to new layer, then hit apply. In the Layers panel, name the new pixel layer Chin. In addition, turn the Head 2 layer back on. With the Freehand Selection tool still selected, select the Head 2 layer in the Layers panel. Take the Selection tool and select the Mouth section. Next, go to the Context Toolbar and select Refine. Set the output to New Layer when the Refine Selection box appears. In the Layers panel, name the new layer Mouth. Place the Mouth layer at the top of the list, then turn the Head 2 layer back on. Select the Head 2 layer again. With the Freehand Selection tool still active, select the Nose area. In the Context Toolbar, hit Refine. 
Set the output to new layer, then hit apply. Label the new layer nose, then move it to the top of the list. Next, turn the head to layer on. Select the head to layer again. Take the freehand selection tool and select the eye area. Hit Refine in the Context Toolbar, then set the output to New Layer. Name the New Layer Eyes and move it to the top of the list. Then turn the Head to Layer on. Select the Head to Layer. Now take the Freehand Selection tool and select the Forehead area. In the context toolbar, click Refine, then set the output to New Layer. Name the new layer Forehead. Move the Forehead layer to the top. Next, turn the Head to Layer on. Select the top part of the man's head with the Freehand Selection tool. Make sure the Head to Layer is selected. In the context toolbar, select Refine. Set the output to New Layer, then hit Apply. After that, label the New Layer Hair and move it to the top of the list in the Layers panel. Go to the Tools panel and select the Move tool. Get rid of the guides on the face by dragging them back up to the ruler area. Make sure that when you're dragging the guides up that you drag them off the document. In the Layers panel, select the Chin Area. Next, select the Group Layers icon, then label the group Chin. Do this step again for the other layers we named. Each pixel layer that makes up the head should be inside of a group. The group should be named the same as the pixel layer it is connected to. So the group should be Hair, Forehead, Eyes, Nose, Mouth, and Chin which is a total of six groups. Now, select the chin pixel layer inside of the chin group. Next, hold shift and drag the chin slightly down. Go to the tools panel and grab the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse over the top part of the chin and give it the following fill color. F, F, A, A, zero, one. Next, go to the Context Toolbar and select Convert to Curves to change the ellipse to a curve. Make sure the curve is above the chin layer inside of the chin group. If you want or need to refine the chin area, select the chin group. Then, click on the Mask Layer icon. Next, select the Mask Layer. Now, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Make sure in the Color panel you have your black fill color active. Finally, take the brush and make whatever part of the chin area you need to mask. Add a pixel layer inside of the chin group by selecting the Add Pixel Layer icon. Then, drag it inside of the chin group. Label this layer Chin Shadow. Make sure you have the Chin Shadow layer selected. Grab the paintbrush tool. In the color panel, make sure your black fill color is active. Set the brush to the settings you see for the opacity, flow, and hardness. Then, draw a mark on top of the orange curve. With the chin shadow layer selected, click the FX icon for effects. Check the Gaussian blur. Set the radius to 14 pixels. Then, in the Layers panel, lower the opacity of the chin shadow to 56%. Select the Mouth group. Hold Shift and drag it down. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse on the top part of the mouth slice. Go to the Color panel and give it the following fill color. 00D818. 
With the ellipse still selected, go to the context toolbar and select convert to curves. To add some masking to the mouth, click the mouth group. Then click the mask layer icon in the layers panel. Grab the paintbrush tool. In the color panel, change the fill color to black. Now, mask the parts of the mouth area you need to mask. Now, click the mouth group. Select the Add Pixel Layer icon. Drag the pixel layer inside of the mouth group. Label the pixel layer Mouth Shadow. Grab the paintbrush tool. Make sure the black fill color is active in the color panel. Then, take the paintbrush and draw a line over part of the green curve. With the mouth shadow layer selected, click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Select Gaussian Blur, then set the radius to 18 pixels. Finally, set the opacity of the mouth shadow layer to 66%. Select the Nose group, hold Shift and drag the nose area down. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse on the top part of the nose area. Make sure you have the nose group selected. The ellipse should be inside of the nose group. Now give the ellipse the following fill color, 002BD1. With the ellipse selected, go to the Context toolbar and click Convert to Curves. In the Layers panel, select the Add Pixel Layer icon. Drag the pixel layer inside of the nose group and label it Nose Shadow. Now, grab the Paintbrush tool, go to the Color panel and set the fill color to black. Then, draw a line on the blue curve. With the Nose Shadow selected, click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 12 pixels. Set the opacity of the nose shadow layer to 75%. Next, select the eye group. Hold shift and drag the eye area down. Grab the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse over the top part of the eye group area. Then give the ellipse the following fill color, F03200. Make sure the ellipse is inside the eyes group. With the ellipse selected, click Convert to Curves in the Context toolbar. In the Layers panel, click on the Add Pixel Layer icon. Drag the pixel layer inside of the eyes group. Then, label the layer Eyeshadow. Now, grab the Paintbrush tool. Set the fill color to black in the Color panel. Then, draw a line on the red curve. In the Layers panel, click the FX icon, select the Gaussian Blur, then set the radius to 22 pixels. Set the opacity of the eyeshadow layer to 65%. Select the forehead group. Then, hold Shift and drag the forehead layer down. Grab the Ellipse tool again. Draw an ellipse over the top part of the forehead area and set the fill color of the ellipse to D93DDF. With the ellipse selected, go to the context toolbar, then select Convert to Curves. Select the forehead group. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon. Drag the pixel layer inside of the forehead group. Rename the layer Forehead Shadow. With the Forehead Shadow layer selected, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. In the Color panel, set the fill color to black. Then, take the brush and draw a line on the pinkish curve. Select the Forehead Shadow layer. Now, select the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the Gaussian Blur box. Then, set the radius to 22 pixels. Set the opacity of the forehead shadow layer to 65% in the Layers panel. It's now time to assemble the head. For this part, you can rearrange the pieces however you see fit.
after you rearrange the pieces, grab the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse underneath the chin. In the layers panel, name the ellipse bottom shadow. With the ellipse selected, click the FX icon in the layers panel. Check the Gaussian blur box and set the radius to 74%. Finally, set the opacity of the ellipse to 40%. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. In addition, I hope you've learned some new tricks and techniques for creating photo manipulations of your own.